A message to pastors about prodigal parents. Pastors, probably 50% of the people in your congregation have prodigals. And they might have actually sent you this video. So if they did, just give me a few minutes. I'm Dr. Doug Weiss. I've been a pastor. I'm a Christian psychologist. And I have dealt with thousands of prodigals in my career. Now, if you've yet to subscribe to our channel, please do. We have so many helpful things that you'll find in your ministry to be helpful to you especially dealing with sensitive topics like sexual addiction, infidelity, intimacy, anorexia, parents of prodigals, and so much more. Really would help you if you have a question, Pastor, go ahead and put it in the box. I'll be happy to personally respond to you. And first of all, I want to say thank you for pastoring a congregation. I know your labor is because you love people and you care about them deeply and you want them to come to know Jesus. And you yourself might have had one or more prodigals. I've known many pastors and, and world-renowned Christian leaders who, you know, on TV shows and big conference platforms have one or multiple prodigals. So this might be uh, really close to your heart. And we've all preached the sermon uh, on the prodigal and we focus on the prodigal and, and the prodigal coming home and how Jesus spent so much time on the chapters of finding the coin, finding the lost sheep and then finding the lost son. And we've all preached that. I've preached that. I love that. It's one of the most famous stories of the scripture because it encapsulates humanity coming home to God. And, and, and we love when people get saved. And I, and I pray that you're asking people to get saved in your congregation every weekend. You know, there's nothing more beautiful than a church that's birthing new spiritual babies every week, and I hope you're doing that. But in your congregation, without doubt, there are hurting parents. Now, I want to share with you, because I've worked with so many of these hurting parents, I want to just take maybe a minute and a half to share their pain. They feel like they've personally failed, even though the scripture in Romans uh, 1 gives the failure to, directly to the prodigal. And I won't get into that too much, but being a prodigal is between them and God, not between them and their parent. But the parent takes false responsibility. They feel false guilt and they feel ashamed. Sometimes they don't even tell you. You ask them how Joey or Susie's doing, they say, oh, they're just doing fine. But they haven't talked to them in months. They're in drugs, alcohol, immorality, uh, new age religions, uh, occult stuff, crazy stuff, attempting suicide you know, getting a DUIs, all kinds of stuff is happening in their life with their child. And yet, no matter what church they go to, they don't feel like that they can fully participate because they're wearing a scarlet letter in their heart. They feel less than, they feel like they have failed because their teenager or young adult has chosen with their will to rebel against the Almighty God, Jesus Christ, who died for them. And they're powerless. They feel powerless to help their child. Even though they might have raised them with the Word of God every day. They might have prayed with and for them every day. They might have done everything right. Which takes us back to Genesis. Who had a perfect father. Perfect environment. Perfect food. Perfect situation. And both of his children became prodigals on him. So the Father God understands what it feels like to be a prodigal parent. Because he is one. He has millions and billions of children who are prodigals on a daily basis. He carries the same pain. But I want to encourage you as a pastor to move away from just, I'll pray for you. Now, what I'm about to share with you happened because a very famous pastor sent me another famous pastor to come to my practice to get help because their marriage was suffering because of the prodigal son who was living a full blown public, a uh, humiliating lifestyle. And out of working with them came to me a lot of what I work with with betrayed wives and, and, and women who've been uh, cheated on and lied to. There are a lot of the similar principles. And I want to share with you something. And very rarely do I lift up a product on YouTube, but I'm going to. On this, this is the uh, prodigal parent uh, video, workbook, and book. Now, the reason I'm sharing that with you is number one, you need this as a resource, at least the book, so that you can hand to the parents and say, here, read this, because it'll help them deal with their hurt. It'll help them deal with the false blame. It'll help them work on their marriage and stay unified. It'll also help them to understand how to work with their other children so that they're not trying to push the children into some relationship with this prodigal 
that might not be, uh, it might be premature. So it's a very practical tool. There's nothing like it out there. Okay, before I wrote it, I did research and there was nothing to really help the parents other than to say, believe in God, which I believe in God. And then, yes, if you raise a child uh, in the ways of the Lord, they will eventually come back. I, I want to believe that, but they have free will as well. And so this helps parents get together in groups. There's a video and a workbook. And so what I'm encouraging you, pastor, not for you to do it. I've been a pastor and everybody wants you to be, you know, their cause. I don't want you to be that. I want you to find someone who has a prodigal and a heart for people. And it might be an elder or a deacon or someone in your church that you already trust and say, here, here's these materials, digest these. And then I'm going to do a little uh, sermon or I'm going to put it in the bulletin that if you have a prodigal that we love you, we're not judging you. But we want you to heal because it's traumatic and it's painful. And it might be the longest trauma in your life. If you have a prodigal, you know it can last years or decades until they come home. So how do you get love? How do you get support? How do you get encouragement? How do you get faith? And I can tell you there's something more powerful about a small group of people praying for one prodigal. And when these parents get together, and we have a huge Facebook group on, on prodigal parents. And if you have a prodigal, please join that. But when they get together in these groups, and some of them are even online groups, they have they, they have a Zoom thing and they, they do you know six or 20 at a time and, and they're just encouraging one another. But when they all decide that they're every day going to pray for that, those six prodigals, we've heard miracles. And you know, one of the greatest stories, and you know, as a pastor, as, as a, a fellow believer in Christ Jesus, this touches my heart so deeply. But when in one church, and I'm, I hope I don't cry, in one church, they had a group and they decided to pray for the, their prodigals. And one Sunday, one of the prodigals went down to the altar and just fell apart and came back to Jesus. But when they were at the altar, all of the parents were at the altar for that young man because they all carried the burden for him and all of their prayers were answered and all of them rejoiced and it gave faith to the others that their, uh, that their prodigals can come home. Now your church needs a prodigal parent ministry. It's not a matter of whether it's a need or not. It's a need. The person needs no qualifications. They don't need to be a counselor. They just need to be able to push a button on a DVD or a download and get the workbooks and let them answer the questions together, get in a small group in a Sunday school room or even just let it be in one of their houses. But as a pastor, I just wanna to appeal to you Let's move beyond just praying. I have some pastors, they, they literally buy a box at a time because you as a, as a counselor in, in your church, as a pastor in your church, you know somewhere in that week, you're probably gonna have someone say, pray for my son, pray for my daughter. They're away from the Lord. They've walked away. They went to college. They're in a, they're in a got a girlfriend or a boyfriend who's pulling them into bars or immorality. Please pastor pray. And at that point, some pastors just pull out the book and say, here, I'm going to pray for you, but I want you to be okay because you're important. And this is your journey as well. And this is your pain. You're feeling the pain of the Father God who has a lost world, who has a lost child, who has a lost church sometimes, pulling away from him. And you're on the journey with the Father. And here's some things that can help you to deal with the hurt and the anger and the grief and the losses and the family and marital dynamics that can help you stay healthy and stay in your ministry. Pastors, you lose so many people in church because they start, they don't want to go to church because they feel ashamed. If they can feel welcomed and actually be given a ministry, say, okay, you have a prodigal. It sounds like God's calling you to heal people who have prodigals, so jump in. That's my encouragement. I love you, pastors. Seriously, I've been one. I know the the responsibility you have to care for all your sheep. But this is not yours to carry. It's yours to give to someone. There's always someone in the body who will love prodigals. Even if they never had one, they will love these parents. But trust me, you have more than enough people in your congregation who need to be healed as they walk through the trauma of having a prodigal. And if you got sent this by somebody, that person loves you and they're reaching out to you and they're saying, help me. So I'm going to be their voice and I'm going to say, please help me. I'm drowning in pain. I'm drowning in secrecy. I'm drowning in embarrassment. 
And I need to know that God's real for me. I need to know that I'm being loved in this process. And I need some real help, not just a Bible verse and a prayer. I need someone to love me when I'm having a bad day, when I'm questioning God, when I'm questioning my parenting, when I'm blaming my spouse. I need you, Pastor, to give me something to really help me. Well, I'm giving you something, Pastor, that can really help. You can call my office, 719-278-3708. And if you order 10 or more, they're going to give you a huge discount because we really want you to do this ministry because it's a needed ministry in the body of Christ. And if you're suffering as a pastor with a prodigal, it's not your fault. It's not about you doing something wrong. It's about their own journey. And please read the book. You will be blown away. So many people have been blown away by the revelation of the Word of God that talks about this. So please, I've been a voice for them. You're an advocate for these people. You love them with all your heart. This tool will help you love them intelligently and let them love each other. You know, we preach about carrying one another's burdens, but how often do we say get in a group and actually carry each other's burdens? Well, we love you. And if you haven't subscribed, Pastor, we have so many helpful videos that can help you uh, pastor and love those who are wounded. And I just pray, Lord, bless every pastor who watches this with wisdom from your word, more love to, for the people, a desire to see revival and salvation come to everyone in his community or her community if you're a female pastor. You know, however, God is working in your life. Please touch these people.